All right, here we go. Time now for the official UFC 223 face-offs. We'll kick things off with Brandon Moreno and Ray Borg. Haven't seen these gentlemen in 2018. Moreno coming off a loss to Sergio Pettis. And of course, his issue with USADA Ray Borg coming off that flyweight title loss to Demetrius Johnson also just became a father last week. So a lot at stake for both these flyweights to the very best at 125 pounds. They'll be competing on Saturday night. We move things along with a very important fight in the strawweight division. There you see Felice Herrig and the former title contender Karolina Kovalkiewicz. Last time Kovalkiewicz fought in New York, she fought at UFC 205 at Madison Square Garden. Dropped the fight to then champion Joanny on Jacek. Felice Herrig on a four fight winning streak. And there you see a very intense stare down. They refuse to look away from each other, locking eyes, not looking at the cameras unaware of any bad blood between these two but Felice Herrick telling us that she did in fact ask for this fight that she wanted this fight she requested this fight and she's looking for her first five fight winning streak as a mixed martial artist so a very intense stare down there between two of the best at 115 pounds we move along now and say hello to the lone New Yorker competing on this card. There he is, Rajan Ally Quinta. Finally back, it has been a year since we've seen him in action, and he is squaring off against one of the very best at 155, Paul Felder. What a fight this is. It has been booked in the past, did not come to fruition, was supposed to come to fruition in December. That's the original booking. I Quinta needed some time, and now he finally gets a chance to fight in his home state. What a great fight this is. Ally Quinta, Paul Felder, there you see mutual respect, a very nice face-off between the two lightweight contenders. Speaking of lightweight contenders, here's another two, and Michael Kesa wastes no time getting in the face of the former lightweight champion Anthony Showtime Pettis. You see there the height advantage, Kesa rocking the mullet. Pettis looking to rebound following his loss to Dustin Poirier, and he stays a little longer on that on that stare down. Kiesa looking to get back on track after the controversial loss to Kevin Lee and gives a little extra stare as well. Wow, that one was interesting. Kiesa and Anthony Pettis taking place on the pay-per-view card Saturday night. Here's a fight that's flown under the radar, but certainly an interesting one as well. Calvin Cater looking to continue his winning ways in the UFC facing off against Renato Moicano. 11-1 and one, and one as a professional. He's coming off that loss to Brian Ortega at UFC 214, but make no mistake, these are two of the best at featherweight. Calvin Cater coming off that impressive victory over Shane Burgos at UFC 220, the first man to finish Shane Burgos. Now we move along to the two title fights on Saturday night. Let's start with this one. Rose Namajunas and Joanna Janjacek. No love lost between these two. Obviously, we know the history. Rose knocked out Joanna, giving her her first UFC loss back in November at Madison Square Garden. Drive across the bridge. We're here at the Barclays Center, and the tables have turned. It's Rose Namajunas' champion going up against Joanna Janjacek. They've squared off before. Their face-offs have been some of the very best in UFC history, and you see Rose not really interested in the theatrics walking off. That fight, one of the most anticipated rematches in UFC history. And finally, your eyes are not lying to you. There is the reigning, defending UFC featherweight champion, Max Holloway, who accepted this fight against Max Holloway, excuse me, against Khabib Nurmagomedov on just six days' notice. Around 72 hours ago, he was in Hawaii, not expecting to fight on this car. Tony Ferguson gets hurt in a freak injury, and all of a sudden, the new main event on Saturday night here in Brooklyn is Max Holloway against Khabib Nurmagomedov, 25-0, the Dagestani Eagle, looking to become UFC champion for the first time. They, of course, will be competing for the lightweight title. It all goes down Saturday night here in Brooklyn. Stay tuned for plenty more coverage from here at the Barclays Center.